Hi everyone, welcome to the first of a brand new um, afternoon series. I'm doing something a little bit different this time, but um, from, a, from a different author, um, illustrator. I'm Clara Markova. Now um, I'm going to be using my Castle Arts, hence the um, position lid. My lid's fallen off my tin, so I can just put it in shot and just move it away. Um, this is a free download from claramarkova.com. Um, it has got the website here, but um, I will share the direct link to this specific download, if I can, or to the page where you can find it um, in the description. So, um, I haven't done any um, videos from Clara Markova before. I don't actually have any of her books. They are really, really lovely. And I thought it would be fun to do some of these elements. And also, even if you don't have her books or don't have a means to do the printout or don't want to do the printout, there are a lot of elements on this page which are in lots of other colouring books. We have fruits and different things like that. So I'm going to have a go at different elements from this page each day. They will be short videos um, for most of them. Obviously the cake's quite big and some of these down here, but these top ones are quite small. So I'm going to um, probably do fairly short videos. And we shall make a start with, we have two little butterflies here and here. And that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to come in close. I chose the Castle Art pencils. I've been using the sort of Castle Art golds quite a lot, but I thought I would use the soft touch, which are the uh, the sort of um, I th I think they're the more commonly common ones that more people have because they're slightly older. And um, I'm going to come in a bit closer because it is rather small. And um, I thought would be a good one to use and I've got 72 which is a fairly good range of colours. So we have our butterfly. Now often when I colour a butterfly I do the body in grey and then make the wings really bright so I thought we would do something different. So let's do the body in purple and pink. Why not? And it's got little stripes you can see. So that's why I thought I'd choose two colours. Um, we will go with this um, aubergine actually um, as our sort of pinky purple that and we'll start with that actually it is small I hope you can see what I'm doing I won't be <clears throat> excuse me doing too many <laughs> little tiny details but we'll start with the head and what I'm going to try to do is to make the color a little bit darker around the edge and lighter in the middle now this um, download I have printed it on to some Bristol board now Bristol board is very smooth paper and uh, I find it works really nicely. I'm going to do the other butterfly in the same way um, with a harder, slightly harder pencil. Because um, if you've got a lot of tooth in your paper, it can take a lot of work with a hard pencil. But uh, I find the Bristol board is really nice with polychromos, for example. But I thought I wouldn't use polychromos for this page. I'd use something a little bit different. So uh, I do use these a fair bit, I have to agree with you, um, those aren't that different, they're not. But uh, Now, I've just um, changed a blade in my sharpener, so I'm hoping these will sharpen a bit more nicely. They do, I find the wood can be quite splintery, this one is particularly splintery, look, but it sharpened up quite nicely with my new blade. So this is the uh, mulberry, which I'm going to be doing for the rest of the body. What I'm trying to do with the body is put a little bit darker on the edges and a bit lighter towards the middle of the body. It's not going to be very easy to see with this little tiny, tiny, oh crit, I could feel that wobbling here. Uh, it looks quite dark in here on this paper. Mm -hmm. I'm looking blind. The sun isn't coming in. I don't know if my camera would adjust in a minute to the light. It might be, look, the paper looks a bit whiter now, I think, rather than grey. And I'm going to do the same on this little chap. So a little bit darker on the edges of each um, stripe and a bit lighter in the middle. I can't get this pencil to write on the paper. There we go. There we are. Now I think what we'll do is we'll do the wings in similar colours but in a paler tone if that makes sense so I've got these two which I think work quite well whoops 
sorry dropped it oh, and nearly again so we've got the lavender light and the lavender but actually look one's quite pinky and one's quite purpley and I think that'll work well I'm starting with the lavender light again giving it a sharpen that thing's very sharp and I'm going to do these little sections and I'm going to make them a little bit darker nearer to our body of our butterfly and then a bit lighter as we go out now you're going to have to layer up if you've got paper like this you're going to have to layer up a little bit but it depends what paper you use you might use just copy paper I find that's fine um, but I'm leaning straight on my desk if I was using copy paper I wouldn't do that I would uh, I would lean on something mm, we've got this outside bit I think we're going to go do that outside bit as well just as if it's part of that one so as I was doing over there, more layers in, near the centre get a little bit darker. We'll do it on this back piece here too. And this piece here. There we go. Now, these wings have their little bit on the outside and I'm going to continue with this colour to do those. But what I'm going to do with these is try and make them darker on the edge here and here and then less in the middle, like that. Now if you haven't got this print out and you want to colour a different butterfly, you can just um, take on this colour scheme. Obviously, um, I've never seen a stripy butterfly before in the body, but you could always add them in. I know, you know, you might not be confident in drawing, I'm not, but putting a few stripes on a butterfly, I think we could probably manage that. You could um, follow the um, Follow the body, you know, um, sort of go around and round and round, something like that, slightly rounded. Oh, I'm going to use the lavender now for the main part of the wing. I'm going to do it in a similar way to this by making it a little bit darker here and a nighter up towards the top. And the same on this wing. I think I'm, you can hear my pencil banging because I've got the table underneath. I don't know whether I'd be better off leaning on something. I might get a book um, for the next video. So it's slightly cushioned. But there is that butterfly. There he is. And now we're going to finish the other one. And this wing, we've got a lot of dots. Can you see there's some dots here and some dots here? So I'm going to use that to guide me with where to put the darker colour on each side. Just layer it up a bit. Now here again we've got dots here and here but I do want it darker down here. So I'm going to make it darker there but also a little bit extra up here and then keep this bit lighter. It's just nice and easy to just follow the markings that we've been given. There we go. So there is our other butterfly. Um, there is another flying critter later, several, but those are the only ones we're going to do today. Um, those two at the top. If we um, come out you can see them both. Um, we are probably going to end up with quite a pink and purpley page, to be honest. I'm looking, we've got blackberries, we've got dog roses, we've got blueberries. Well, these look like blueberries to me. So, and hearts. So, I think <laughs> it's going to be quite pink. But that's okay, we've got cherries as well, look. So, uh, another heart there. So, but I think that's fine. It'll be fun to do something quite pink and, and pretty. But that's me for today. So the next instalment will come tomorrow and we'll probably do some berries because I love doing berries and so I'm desperate to get on and do them. I don't know why I didn't do some today, but uh, we'll do some tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.